BBC News with Jerry Smith. Four Ukrainian regions controlled wholly or in part by Russian forces have begun self-styled referendums on joining the Russian Federation. Western countries say the process is a step towards annexation of Ukrainian territory by Russia. A former senior official in China has been given a suspended death sentence in the run-up to an important political meeting next month. Sun Li Jun, an ex-Vice Minister of Public Security, was accused of taking bribes and political disloyalty. A court in northern China has handed down a prison sentence of 24 years to a man who led an attack on a group of women in a restaurant. Surveillance video of the incident went viral and sparked a debate about violence against women in China. Scientists from Imperial College London say early human trials of a new type of cancer therapy show promising results. The treatment involves a common virus to infect and destroy harmful cells. About 40 patients were administered a drug by direct injection into the tumour. The Syrian authorities say they found the bodies of more than 50 people from a boat carrying migrants that sank near the coastal city of Tartus. The Syrian news agency said that 20 survivors were being treated in hospital. The president of Iran, Ebrahim Raisi, has insisted that a thorough investigation is underway into the death last Friday of a 22-year-old woman who was arrested by the morality police. Mr Raisi condemned the nationwide protests spied by Masa Amini's death, which left at least 30 others dead. Sri Lanka's government is to hold talks with international creditors today as it begins the process of restructuring debt that's contributed to its worst economic crisis in decades. The talks are key to unlocking a bailout of almost $3 billion from the International Monetary Fund. BBC News.